We are in the kitchen with Chef Frank, who's making a yummy Italian dish. And you know, when it's cold outside, Italian is the first food uh, that comes to my mind. It's like comfort food. Comfort food all yeah. the way. Absolutely. All right, well, we got Delicious. So today we're going to do some stuffed mushrooms. Okay. All right, this is on our cappuccino's menu mm -hmm. as an appetizer, which is really good. It's a good selling item. So basically, we start with cremini mushrooms. Which and these is? are a baby portobello mushroom. Okay. So a baby portobello, okay? So what we do is we just take these little stems off. And you can save them if you want, if you make stocks and this and that, which I do. And then we're just going to get them ready. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you can just take your little finger and just open it up a little bit more. This okay. way you want to make some space for the stuffing. So we're going to start with the Italian sausage. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're blessed that we make our own sausage in-house. So this is already seasoned and everything. You can buy the sausage at the store, take it out of the casing, and just brown it up, okay. which I did. Okay. And when I brown it up, I use a little bit of sherry just to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. All right. And then we're going to use some, this is one piece of white American bread. Mm -hmm. So basically this is the binding agent that kind of, kind of stiffen it up a little bit. We got some Italian cheese, provolone, fontina, and mozzarella. And then we got our seasoned ricotta, which is basically our lasagna filling. Okay. Okay. So this is seasoned with egg and parsley and all that good stuff. So then we're going to go with our roasted red peppers. Mm -hmm. We got some shallots, freshly cut up. We got some pine nuts that we toasted and we cut up. We got some golden raisins. This kind of gives it a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. to the dish. And then we got a little bit of sage. Okay. So basically, you're just going to take that. You're going to give it a good mix, okay? And then what I do is I have a pan ready, oven ready pan, mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And once you get this mixed, if you have a little ice cream scoop at your house, we use yeah. little scoopers, then you can just go ahead. Now, I recommend after you mix this, you let it sit for a little bit. This okay. will stiffen up. This will stiffen up the put, filling. Do you need to chill it or anything? Yes, okay. chill it. Okay. And then once you get it, you can just scoop it out as as you see. And that's okay? so much easier than using a spoon. Yeah, that's it's so me much easier. Yeah. To stuff it in there. Absolutely. And then okay. we use a little bit of panko crumb, and we're gonna bake these for about 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until okay. they get nice and golden brown. And then we finish it with a little bit of truffle oil, and a little bit of cheese. And a little bit of arugula. All right, it's that very peppery. nice. And this is one of your more popular. Yes, this is actually appetizers. one of our popular appetizer dishes at Cappuccinos. All right, stop in and see it. Good to have Please you do. here as always. Thank Good you to very see you. much. And